Fala galera, beleza? Aqui quem fala é Arte, seja bem-vindos a mais um vídeo aqui no canal. E no vídeo de hoje são os melhores momentos dos jogos profissionais de CS. Eu sei que você curte, mas 70% das pessoas que assistem os vídeos aqui no canal todos os dias não são inscritos. É isso mesmo. Então, não se esquece, se inscreve aqui no canal, deixa o like. E lembrando que dá muito trabalho trazer todos os dias os melhores momentos, tudo mastigadinho pra você assistir. É bom, né? Então, deixa de enrolação, vamos ao que interessa, são os melhores momentos. Fui! That's it. Let's get into it. And they're still sticking around. So both sides here are now a known quantity. Fallen, Jiggle Peek around the corner. Keitarato's going to get one and a second as well before he's falls to the hands of Holzerk. So a second pop, a double execute coming through from Complexity. Now puts them in a three versus one situation with only Yuri left to find. The longest standing player on this team needs a bit of magic. He can't quite find the opening fight, and now since he's known, he can't really cross away as well. Floppy at range will see him off. Close, fallen. The bad position, Shadow does get spotted. Ooh. Fallen, doesn't miss those any day of the week. Grim goes down. And Molotov dropped as well, keep them at bay. It's good control as well. Only thing that they lack is a little bit of that mid-presence. Well, we haven't really seen Horzoak make a look in himself, so... For now, not a lot on offer. All becomes a little bit uh, quiet in the server. JT trying to find a kill on towards Art. He's got the jiggle peak of the MP9 around the corner. Yuri takes a tag. Art takes a fight, which he wins. All in all, everything's slotting into place here. Yeah, it's a big bait and Fallen's repositioned towards Donuts as well. This is a good angle, misses the first one, but he can fall back and he still has some support. Now, the only problem is they're both trapped towards the back of the bomb site, towards the back of default box, but Fallen doesn't miss again. Okay, Serato goes down in the meantime, so Fallen's gonna be all alone. Here, he's gonna get mollied out, finally misses a shot and Floppy will take him down. Bomb's gonna get planted as a two versus five attempt for Floppy and Elish. Art, around that corner. Three, a lot of damage dealt at range. The last play, I mean, Elise and the Donut plays. A no quantity nade will come through, but I think Elise is done for here. Bomb may still be planted for him, and this is such a difficult post plant to try and hold. Let's find one. We're only going to tap one towards the bomb as well, so don't make something of this, but Art will see it off. The IGL closing. It doesn't look like we'd have to hope for another comeback masterclass. Of course, a lot of them happen on Anubis, but JT. Leading the charge, coming in from heaven, gets one, gets two, that's great by JT, and they just get mauled down. That was a full investment from Fury, and no one's even been close to getting a kill. Simple and effective, nicely done. Wow. Fallen now, all that's left of the AWP at range, 1v5, no chance, it's a, it's a saving mission whether he can do that. JT? He needs to put up a fight. Double Molotov coming through early from complexity. Yuri Massey has convicted the arsenal. Back in the road, holds her, shock and all thing up close and personal. Trying to find a second Ooh. scalp as Cello will try and fall back. These are known quantities towards the left hand side as well. Oh, Cello no. is stuck between a rock and a hard place. Cannot escape from Cave. And Molotov of the Toe is going to make this all the more worse. He jumps through the smoke to just about stay alive. Confident orping from Horzak. And a lot of early space gained by complexity. Our Fury may have mid. Art's in a precarious spot himself. Yeah, at least he's got another smoke towards the back, but this is so massive to see how he's going for an opening. Look at Fallen, though. He's gonna kill Luckin, but JT shuts him down. Cello, up close. Doesn't get the refrag, and now they know he was up close as well. JT might try to contest, but Cello wins the fight. Art's dropped Hauser, but they still have control over that A-bomb side, and Art needs to be careful around middle. He's gonna get into a fight with Grim. Might not be ready for a leash. Grim actually gets the kill regardless. Get all that control towards A, right? There still is a plan B. Those individuals are going for the fights because they know they can afford to lose them, but now going back to middle, no wasting any time. Elish gets another opener, and they've spotted the MP9, or at least they've spotted the bullets going through the smoke from Donuts. So they know where he is, but Yuri, going through the Molotov, gets one. There's one more that's really low on HP. That's JT. Yuri needs to be careful, though. Paul has picked up another. Actually, Yuri gets the kill onto Grim. This round is all over the place. It's complete carnage, but JT shuts down Cello through the smoke. Didn't even see him. JT's so low, but still finding frags. An MP9 alive for Art. And he will drive by a liege. Art will fall. Wow. And now it's all down to the IGL. Experience. On those shoulders, six points of HP, and it all goes quiet in a one versus two. And all in the hands of Fallen, looking deep down ramp. It's not the most uh, 
unwinnable situation. Still feels slightly improbable. And yeah. most definitely will be. Fallen on scopes, rescopes to find JT back turn. That'll be. He's getting a lot of mileage through mid. The smoke fades. Holzerk will get a gap, and Holzerk will find on. Lines up two, but can't confirm it. In comes the trade from Grim. Elige may fall, but he's baited oh. in attention. Time, time too far ticked, and that'll be complexity with that seventh. Fallen, not even going to stick around for the exit frag. That'll be that. Yuri falls to the bomb. Much of it for free, pretty much, all alone. The complexity, they just switch things up and looking to switch them up here again. Oh. Floppy going for the opening, but Cello shuts them down. And Grim, I think he's got a bit of a timing here. Now they realize that he's already out. This is so odd because he's so far away from everyone else, but still able to find a kill. And Elise and Hauser will support. Complexity get a number eight on the board. This was a complete shutdown. Yeah, not bad. Okay, Serato. I should get a lot of mileage here, okay, Serato. Deep in towards mid, up on towards shell. And hang on, oh. flash through towards mid. Okay, Serato's wow. gonna be in trouble. That flash is good. But Art from behind finds two of his own. Backstabber from Art will get a double. And now into a three versus three with JT taking damage as well. A lot of owners on Floppy to find some success. It's only Cello around that corner. With just the five seven, it's a doable affair. Little do they know. Art's got himself an AK. He might be the bit of the saving grace in this round. His double kill so far, incredibly important. He's going to come support. And of just that solo 5-7. Also creeping around the corner, waiting for a fight. Cello turns his back, and that'll cost him his life. AWB picks him off. Another pop shot as well. Not quite as successful, but oh, it will be. Up for his third kill. Looking for more, too. Plays around that smoke. He might just no sneak way. through it. Balls of steel from Art as well. He might just catch JT back turn. And he does. Art on from Masterclass here. Bobbing and weaving, dancing through the utility. All down to one man. And Horzoek's opted for the Glock. Might be in trouble. And he will be. Fallen season. Have a good game. Everyone's six right now. And he might want more as well. This time he gets dropped to the hands of the Liege. If anyone's going to put him in his place, it would be that man. Winning kill for complexity. Final round of the half as well to end on a high note. For the NA roster would be huge, but Caserato gonna bite back. Down goes Elise through the smoke. You two gonna come over. Smoke, double flash. Yeah, it's all a ruse, but actually not really baiting in all too oh. much. I say that. Yuri will go join the fray. Smoke on towards CT, and as Cello falls with a drive by from Floppy, they're in trouble, but Yuri will answer back. Orzerk falls in the three versus three and fall in that range. Only one victor. As Floppy falls, JT and Grim left to try and clutch this out in a numbers disadvantage post plan. Two versus three and JT on for a long rotate. Fallen is never missing those. Grim all down to one man in a 1v3. He's got an ice a fight as best he can. He will find the first. Looks for a second damage dealt. No frag. Second bite in towards Cave and Katerata will drop him. Furia find four at the tail end of the half. Not the worst round. They're making this one look. They play from Fury. They're, they're flying out in the direction of B. Already, JC they can fight. He's tucking us up in towards Cubby, and Floppy's there to bail him out. Fallen. Lance back on his own. He'll catch a lead, but Floppy's still stepping up. Huge. Can't stop the flop, they said. Maybe as he gets dinged, he might fall. He will to the hands of Art. Two versus two ensues. Bomb will be planted as Horzoik sits behind the smoke. No fight to be found until Art peers his head through. And one man to do it. Grim drop by Caserato. Great start for Furia. And get close. Gonna tap up here on the corner as well. Drive by with a Mac 10. That is Art to a T. And he looks for more as well. We'll be caught modded up in hand. Also trying to close down the space a little bit. But could be a bit of trouble. That range, Yuri's Galil. We'll find one. It's looking very, very good. Now, I'd say an appeal to uh, what happened in the first half. They were unhappy with it. So now they want to change it. So far, it's looked a little bit different. Or alive, a lot more comfortable, a lot more discomfortable for complexity. Or uncomfortable is the right word to use. Yuri will waste mm. some more time. Grim's going to be so quick. Now, they're shaking occasionally for this, but if he gets the right timing on it, he might drop the bomb, and this is so big. Grim gets the first one. These folks will stay alive now. Smoke into more, and Cello gets the kill. That was really important. JT gonna get aggressive in towards the cave, but Fall is waiting there with his trustworthy Mac 10, and somehow Furia are able to fight back. Elise, the only one left. Fallen tags him down. 
runs away. He's gonna fall back. It's complete carnage on the bomb side. Fully flashed the leash is gonna try and hit that reload, but this round should go in favor of Fury regardless. They're actually rotating back towards the A bomb side, which is interesting because the leash is nearby. And I, I think Cello just realized that. And out. Leash should get a freebie. Will do. Will on the fall. That would have been so interesting, by the way. Imagine Cello just sprints out A and Elise is in CT spawn. He just drops him. Everyone else is on B. And Elise has the bomb on A. Would be worrying. Strokes come through. Bomb goes down. And well, that'll be that. The rounds be confirmed. And this is going to tie this game up eight rounds apiece. So another showing of two inseparable sides. Yuri spams the smoke. Elise will fall. Favoring that B bomb side. That might be another rush. Heading in that direction. Cello. In the charge in Mac 10 in hand spray and pray but full blind, no chance. Floppy gonna find one, but Yuri and Fallen combine oh. and Yuri doubles down in a massive way. That's the A site. B time has a cracked completely open and Keterata drops the smoke. So securely makes his way in that direction. He might get a flank on Grim here as well, but ops against pushing. Bomb goes down. Round to be one. Fury are setting up for an upset here. Two playing towards B, play D. Two in towards mid, one play through Donald as well, and then A site pretty fun as it goes. Grim and Arco want a piece. Big oh. trade in towards mid, He's big dead. swing. Yuri will find it, Elise will fall. Numbers go in favor of Furia once again. And now they've got to try and call their way back in towards this one. It's easier said than done. Arco gonna go test over towards A, and he might even bait him in a bit of a rotation here as well. Smoke gonna come through in towards CT, and that might draw attention back. But no. Still complexity, you're eerily shifting in the direction of that B site, which would be correct. All that doesn't him. check. Ramp, but Floppy still finds the kill nonetheless. One going his way. Floppy makes it a second. Keitarato will trade. Big swing. Oh. Big ding as Keitarato finds a double. I oh, will close it. But that is Keitarato's round of Furia lock in 11. Floppy even gets the dink on him. Furia, 11 8 up. Another Persia's coming in from Complexity and Grim. Starts it off with an opening and makes that a double thanks to Elish. Not bad. I mean, at the very least, it is Grim here. He's low on HP. Only 12 points to speak of. Yuri still selling a ruse behind that smoke. A minute to speak of. They look like they want to play contact. Yuri will go down to the hands of Halzerk. And now, what can Grim do backside? The answer's nothing. Cello will rip his head off. Down he goes. They've got space to work up in terms of a plant. But it's not going to be safe by any means. Molotov in towards Donut. Smoke in towards CT. Oh. And a lineup from Fallen. No Gets way. one and falls back. Got a Molotov in hand. Bomb can still go down as well just as the smoke starts to fade. Cello can set himself up two versus three. Fury have made this a possibility. And JT on the uptake no. goes down to the hands of Cello. Two versus two. And Cello and Fallen are stepping up in a big way. This looked like an unlosable round for complexity. And now they've got an open retake. Tap on towards the bomb. It might even be, no, just a tap. To see whether a peak comes through, but they don't fall for the ruse. Furia standing tall, standing their ground. They're Shoulder spotted. It. They are sticking it. Someone's got a swing. Down goes Horser. What a round from Furia. Two versus five. Take about that. That one can really hurt. I don't know whether, like you said, whether they can recover a leisure will fall, and that could be the beginning of the end here. Furia could be about to pull off another upset. Horser gets a dink. With the FAMAS. Flash should come off on high. Grim gonna play up close to the MP9. He's gonna get a kill here. Fluffs his lines. Also, got these confirmed his kill as Cello falls down, but a 4v3 ensues. The and this could be me. Furia closing this. A fallen finds one more. Horzerk to fall to the hands of the Godfather and two left alive for complexity. JT and Floppy gonna pull off something spectacular. And Fallen, it's all a ruse. Bomb in the direction of B. Fallen's baited over the attention of both. This round is done, and surely this game as well. Fallen any more for any more. Presente, as he steps up, he can't find the last. JT will drop him, but this is game, set, and match. Furia going to be apex in the upper bracket. And once again, what a performance. That is a second... E aí, gostou dos melhores momentos de hoje? Não se esquece, as estatísticas estão aqui para você analisar. Pausa o vídeo caso você queira ver e acompanhar tudo certinho. Sua inscrição e seu like aqui embaixo é muito importante para a evolução do canal. Te vejo no próximo vídeo. Fui!